Yo. How are you? Hey, afternoon. What's poppin'? Mark, when you look at uh, Minnesota, what what stands out to you about Cook and their run game and, and what they do well and how, how difficult they are to, to stop? Yeah, uh, they do a great job getting out the ball, uh, giving Dalvin Cook, Cook a, a lot of space to, you know, cut back, um, open up lanes, and it's all about, you know, wrapping up and tackling them and getting them down to the ground. I mean, you know, he's playing sensational for the last two years and um, just being able to watch film on him, um, he'll be a great challenge for us. Where have you guys improved with your run defense in the last two games? You say where did, where did we improve? Yeah, uh, I mean, I think we improved just the mindset about uh, attacking and not letting people attack us. And, uh, you know, that's really the main thing is, you know, uh, getting off the rock, setting good edges, and don't let the ball beat you outside. So um, I feel like we're doing a better job holding our holding ourselves accountable and uh, making plays. Hey, Mark, Coach Kyle Hamilton here. Um, you think the bye week was a helpful reset for you all? Oh, most definitely. Uh, you know, just to rejuvenate the legs, uh, get your body back underneath you uh, is great. Uh, but it also, you know, can harm you too if you're not, you know, focused on the task at hand. It can, you know, cause you to come back being lazy about, you know, your job. So uh, I feel like, you know, our guys came back eager and ready to work, uh, you know, more focused than I don't see them all year and uh, just ready to come, come and hit and, you know, play with attitude. No, I'm I'm not surprised. Um, first thing first, don't ever get this twisted. Um, we're a good team, and and it's all about winning games at the end of the day. But uh, we're a good team, and seeing how other people are playing and stuff, um, I don't I don't think we're far behind at all. And I I feel like we deserve to still be in this thing, and um, we can make a pretty good run. Uh, yeah, it does boost our confidence um, a little bit. Uh, you know, me personally, I don't even like talking about that game, uh, you know, just because just of the outcome and knowing how our team played that whole game. Um, it shouldn't end it like that. So um, on to the next game, and we're focused on Minnesota now. Mark, you mentioned that you don't think you're far away, and after that Pittsburgh game, you, you, you had told us nobody's elite in this league. Oh yeah, most definitely. Uh, I mean, you can look at the records yourself, and uh, you, you see good teams getting beat by what y'all call bad teams, or bad teams being good teams, or however it is. But uh, I mean, shoot, how, how we're looking at it, everybody's record the same. Uh, we're gonna keep going out there attacking people, and uh, we gotta make sure we come back with a win. Point blank. Period. You said how good who was? So how good Trayvon Diggs was playing, and now it seems he's out for several weeks at least. How much of a blow is it to lose him on the defense? Now? Yeah, I mean, it, it hurts um, just to see the young fella, you know, going out there making plays like he was and, um, you know, being able to uh, get his feet under him and become, uh, you know, who he's becoming. And I, I feel like he's going to be an elite corner in this league. And... Uh, just to see him go down with injury, um, it hurts. Uh, but I know Trayvon's going to do the right thing. Uh, he got a good heart, good mindset, and he's going to make sure he comes back even better. What has impressed you about Neville Gallimore in his rookie season, and what would you say has been his greatest area of growth? Uh, I think the main thing for Nev uh, was just trusting in himself. Uh, coming into the league as a rookie, um, it's, a, it's a lot of pressure uh, being great right now and instead of working on, you know, the basics and the fundamentals of this game. Um, and I, I feel like, you know, he had that type of pressure on him. And, you know, once he started um, loosening up, uh, started having fun with it, and also knowing, you know, his plays and stuff, uh, 
you know, he, he started attacking more. So um, really happy for Nell, you know, really excited to come see him play um, on Sunday and, you know, redo what he was doing uh, against Pittsburgh. Marcus, did you have to learn how to not – measure your games, whether it was a good or bad game, by how many sacks you've had. Do you have to learn that, or is that something that you've just kind of known that sacks are only one part of a, an element of a game? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, I don't, I don't play this game, you know, and think about, okay, I need to go out here and get a sack because, I mean, if you play the game like that, then basically you leaving your team out to dry. Uh, if I'm running upfield and, and they do a run play through the B-gap, now the tackle only has to uh, knock me upfield and go straight to the linebacker, and now it's a clear hole for a touchdown. So uh, I really think about doing my job, whatever position the coaches put me in, I'm going to make sure I play that position damn well or probably the best at that position and, uh, you know, try to do whatever it takes to help my team win. I'm not here uh, for numbers. I'm here to win a Super Bowl. Did you always have that mindset? Oh, most definitely. I mean, I feel like once you once you get that ring, then you can start chasing other dreams. But if you ain't got no ring, then sh you can't even mention nothing about being a Hall of Famer or anything. So, how similar is the, how similar is the Vikings' run game stylistically to the Browns' running game that you guys saw earlier this year? Oh yeah, uh, we feel like it's pretty similar. Um, you know, we feel like Dalvin Cook, Cook is a you know a more elite back. Um, just by his skills and uh, how he can cut the ball back at any moment on you. Uh, but, yeah, we, we feel like, you know, we're going to see mostly the same kind of scheme. And, uh, I mean, that's it. <laughs> yeah, how do you achieve this? Obviously, a different result. This different against the similar scheme. So yeah. You look at that Browns game. Yeah, well, I, I feel like it's, we are a different team. Uh, we're playing totally different. Uh, our energy is totally different, and this would not be a repeat of the Browns game. Um, I feel like, you know, our feet underneath us, um, we're starting to play with more of a, a football IQ and understand, you know, what our coaches uh, want from us, and we're going out there playing hard. Last question. Marcus, how much have things changed around the facility as it relates to the COVID protocol? And do you all have to do anything different with your families? Coach McCarthy and at least the staff is back at that. Yeah. Uh, um, I don't know, you know, the whole thing with the coaches, but uh, me personally, nah, I just try to, you know, keep everything very simple, very clean and, and the same. Um, you know, just making sure my family uh, stay as safe as possible, um, no contact with anybody. Um, and, you know, we just trying to take it one day at a time and, you know, make sure we stay as safe as possible. All right. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good one.